Today I'm joined with two Emory & Henry acting students who have just won awards at the Kennedy Center, Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina in February. Jamal Crowell and Mike Brown, thank you all for joining me today. Hi. Hey there. Um, tell me a little bit about the festival and how you all ended up there. Um, well, basically what we, what we do is the shows that we uh, do here, uh, there's an adjudicator that comes and chooses two people to uh, go to this conference. And uh, it's it's basically up to it's basically up to him and the director. So what happened is that we did Triumph of Love, and me and my friend Caitlin Morgan got nominated for that, and I chose Mike to be my partner to help me represent myself at this conference. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so you just ended up going because Jamal wanted. To yes, <laughs> I mean I did it the previous year. Okay. I got nominated for um, for Ghost, Ghost. Ghost. Mm -hmm. and then I I chose Eileen Casterline as my partner back then, and he was actually a partner. For, uh, I was, I was partnered with, with Caitlin. For Caitlin. I was partnered with Caitlin. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what, what, what happens is like they choose, they choose tons of people from a separate region, mm -hmm. and there's regions all over the nation. And if you get, the, if you're one of the top two winners, then you go to the national conference in the Kennedy Center, which happens in April. Mm -hmm. April, I think. So what happened with us is that we went to the final rounds. There's, there's 190 students out of mm -hmm. the south of the 13 states. And what happened was that we got passed on from them and the 190 groups went down to 36. So that meant we went to the semifinals. Then we went to the finals for 16 rounds. Okay. Or for, for the, the final, final 16. 16. So we were top of the final 16, which means that for this year, we're some of the I guess but we're among the top 16 collegiate actors in the region. In the region. Well, that's incredible. Well, in the South. Um, wh what did the, what, tell me about the five days you were in Greensboro. Like, what did everything entail? Like, what were the activities? Did you get to meet a lot of new people? I heard there was some fun in a hotel room. Yeah. Oh, oh there, was, there was a lot of fun. There was a lot of fun. There was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> don't ever leave a hotel without having a pillow fight, ever. It's amazing. It's amazing. Change it's amazing. Pointer for all the viewers out there. Yes. Um, but no, it, it was it was great. It was nice. It wasn't cold. Oh. It wasn't cold. <laughs> Except at night, it wasn't cold. But I mean, it wasn't like shifty weather or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically a conference where you get to hang out with tons and tons of actors and directors and technicians and people who are just love being in your field. You just it's basically like similar like if astronauts were going to an astronaut convention, <laughs> or it's just the same thing for actors. Like, just going to an acting. Like convention. every night before we actually got our results, like we got to see. A show that they also a full show that got nominations for ACTF, mm -hmm. and uh, we'd see a full production from different colleges. From different colleges, one of them is um, a friend of ours. Like he, he's a student, but he actually wrote yes. the main stage show for his college. Oh, that's incredible! Mm -hmm. what, who is this you're talking about? Uh, Michael Small. Michael Smallwood. Smallwood. He's, he's I think he's 21 or 22 years old, and he writes. He writes like he's been doing it for years. He's, he's incredible. good. He's an incredible writer. Oh, that's incredible. So what were some of the activities you got to do outside of acting, other than watching shows? Was there anything a lot of really fun? There were, there were a lot of workshops, but for us it was a little different. Mm -hmm. um, because we kept getting passed on, our days were a little, <laughs> they were a little taken, <laughs> which, was, which was fun, because we'd have to wake up at 8, and we'd have to go rehearse, get, we'd have to eat. Then we have to go all the way to the conference. Then we have to rehearse in the room. Mm -hmm. Then we have to meet our director, rehearse some more. Mm -hmm. Then we would have to audition. And then we would go to a workshop. And then we'd find out later that night after we watched the show. So our, it would happen over and over and over again. So I was actually surprised, surprised at getting passed on. Because yeah. you're going against seniors and grad students. And I'm just a junior. So I, I was very mm -hmm. surprised. Well, that's incredible. It's definitely a compliment to your acting skills. Thanks. Um, as far as you two go, uh, when did you two decide that acting was what you wanted to do? Acting. Um I got into acting entirely. I got into acting in like the seventh grade mm -hmm. by accident, because like the the teacher that was doing auditions at the time, um, she was doing them during the day, during a particular class period that I forgot my homework for. So rather than having to deal with that, I just went to the audition, and um, <laughs> I started doing theater that way. And um, I mean, it was after coming here and for prepping myself professionally. Like, yeah, I definitely want to do this for the rest of my life. Well, that's incredible. What about you? Uh, well, I was, <laughs> I was one of those kids that um, would like did play acting all the time. Like I remember with me and my brother and my cousin, we did like Batman and Robin shows. We'd like have awesome. these like costumes awesome. and capes <laughs> and stuff, and we just dress up. And I was always be the villain. I would always die at the end. And my brother always had to be Batman because he always wanted to be number one. 
I don't know what that means since he's my twin. I don't know what that means. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I got into acting in, in seventh grade, and I took it for three weeks. I just wanted to take it for fun. Mm -hmm. And then I realized how much fun I was having, and I was like, people get paid for this? <laughs> I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. Mm. So I made that decision made that decision then, and it was, it was a lot of fun. So you chose it, it for the, the fun, not necessarily for the fame that comes out of it. No, no. no. Well, that's good. Um, what does Emory & Henry offer you as actors that other schools might not have? Or definitely, you know, why did you choose Emory and Henry to study acting? Well, for me, um, <laughs> I get, you get more one-on-one -on -one time. You get yeah. more time to develop yourself. There's so many different styles, and there's, um, there's, I mean, Dr. LaPlante teaches theater mm -hmm. history, and he just goes through the gamut of so many styles, and uh, uh, Dr. B, or Liliana Stolchev, mm -hmm. or Um she goes through so many. You just get you just get to delve into so many theatrical styles, and you get to do dance, you get to sing, you get you just get more time to develop yourself as an actor. You're not trying to fight with so many students. You're not trying to get right. yeah. fight for one on one. Time, I mean, for most big for a lot of like big universities, especially like conservatories on the be on the bachelor's level. I'm, I mean, your class of actors is going to be maybe 60, 80, 90 right. people. And your cast and shows that typically range from maybe eight to ten. Right. So here it's a lot more focused on yes. the students. Yes. 